Hi everyone, this is Tim from Mile High Themes, and in this video I'm just going to show you how to set up advanced filtering for your collection pages and search results using Galleria version 3.0. So first of all, we have a clean version of the theme installed here, and I'm going to go ahead and click Customize. And we need to navigate to any collection page. So I'm going to click home page up here and choose collections and then go to default collection. You can also do this by just clicking in your navigation to get to any collection page. It doesn't matter which, unless you've set up multiple templates for your collections, in which case you'd have to set up these same options for all of those templates. So once we're here, I'm going to go ahead and click products over here and then the options will show up. So firstly, if we want to enable filtering at all, we have to click this checkbox that says enable filtering. And you see that this sidebar appeared with filters for availability and price. This option that says enable sticky filters on large screens just means that this will stay visible as you scroll down through a long list of products. As you can see now, it disappears up the screen if we're at the bottom of the page but if I enable this, then it will stay in view. We can also collapse the filters so they are not visible by default and you have to click the arrows to expand them or leave that off and they will be visible. So we have multiple filtering methods that come with the theme. This one is called storefront filtering and it's a new feature of online store 2.0 that Shopify released. This allows you to filter your products by things like availability and price, of course, but also your product variants also, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We also have the previous group tag, tag group filtering, which we set up in our older versions of the theme, where you would add tags to products in order to create filters. And this is what that looked like on the older version of our Galleria theme. A lot of themes had this feature, so maybe you spent a lot of time setting up these tag filters for either your old version of Galleria or maybe even another theme and you're switching over. So if you have those tag filters, we elected to keep this as an option in case you still needed it. So for now, we're going to talk about storefront filtering. And if you have that selected, then these two options are not relevant for um, that particular type of filtering. We also have this option to enable color swatches in the filter. So if one of your, if you've set up swatches for your products and you have colors as one of your product options, then they'll show as color swatches in here instead of just checkboxes. Then we have a few more options for the active filters that you can play with here. So in order to set up the filters, I'm going to go ahead and click this Customize Filters link right here. And that's going to take us to our online store navigation area, and that's where these filters live. So you can see right now we have availability and price. You can drag them around and put them in whichever order you like. And if you wanted to add more, you can click Add Filters, and you'll notice this box pops up. So by default, I'll all Shopify stores will have the ability to filter by all of these categories, including product type and vendor brand, vendor or brand, assuming you have added a product type to your products and you have a vendor associated with your products. These over here are based on options that you've set for your products. So like color and size would show up here if you were, for example, selling clothing. Um, all, the all the products that were have in this demo store have tons of different options as you can see so that's why this list is so long but most stores are just going to have just a few options in here probably depending on how many different types of lines of products you sell so you can select any of these you can select all of them it's just a matter of how how detailed you want your filter to appear so in my case i'm just going to collect select a couple more of these and i'll go ahead and add these and then click done and then save. Now in my experience, this sometimes takes a second to show up on the actual website. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here and I'm gonna preview this theme. 
and see if it's showing. So I didn't save my options. Sorry about that. I'll save my options, make sure you do that. And then I will refresh this page and there they are. So again, these products have a lot of different options, which is why this list is so long. Maybe your products won't have that many. It just depends, again, how many different lines of products you have and how many different product options there are. But as you can see, you can select multiple options from a single category if you like, which is something that we haven't been able to do in the past with the tag filtering. So that's kind of a nice feature. And um, you can sort by availability, price, and all these other options. And it just works really smooth and seamlessly. If you decide that you want to remove some of your filters, you can click clear all or just select these one at a time to remove them. And it's just very slick and works really well. So that's how you set up the storefront filtering. Now I'm going to briefly talk about the old tag group filtering option just in case you might be upgrading from a previous version of Galleria or any other theme that used to have this. I know a lot of themes had the tag filtering option before this was released. And most of the other themes when they upgraded to Online Store 2.0 went ahead and removed that feature in place of this. But I know a lot of people spent a lot of time setting up those tag filters and maybe they were perfectly happy with how it functioned and don't want to bother with the storefront filtering. So in that case, I'll just show you briefly how to set that up. And obviously if you're not interested in that you can always close the video at any time. So I'm going to go back over here and customize this theme again and go to any collection page and choose products again. So the filtering method I'm going to change to tag group filtering. So everything disappears because we have to have this tag filters list filled in. So I happen to know that these products looking at my older version of Galleria that I have here, we had filters for style and device. So I just want to add those options to this filters list. Now they have, they are case sensitive. So you want to type it just as it is. And they're separated by a comma with no space in between. So style comma device. And you see that these checkboxes now have appeared on the left. So these are all based on fil uh, tags that were added to these products and only tags that are relevant to the products of the collection that you're currently on will be visible. So you can select these and you see that the page updates and only shows products that are relevant to that particular selection. It's a little bit slow in the editor, but it works better on an actual site. So in this case, there's no messenger bags that are designed for gaming apparently, but you get the idea. So if you've got these tag filtering options set up from previous versions of the theme or other themes, then this option is available to you. Just so make sure you add your tag filters in this list. And if you need a little reminder, I assume that you probably don't, but if you need a reminder of how these tags are formatted, um, you just go to your products and go to your tags. This particular product doesn't have any tags, but I can go ahead and add some as an example. So again, we're filtering by style and device. So if I start to type the word style in here, you can see all of the other tag tags that we've created for other products. So you can easily populate these just by clicking the checkbox. So this looks like a messenger bag. So I'm going to click style messenger bag and then device, let's say MacBook. And you can add multiple if you want. And the obviously the product would filter by multiple tags. So we've got those two added, make sure to save. And uh, you just want to make sure that the filter name itself is on the left here in the same case as you want it to appear on the website with an underscore character. And then the actual filter name appears after that. So you would, if you wanted to use this filtering method for whatever reason, as opposed to the the other method, then this is how you would add the tags to all of your products to get them to show up. So I believe that covers everything. If you had any questions about the filtering, whether storefront or tag filtering for the theme, feel free to reach out via our support site. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.